How did you create a winning team culture? So the number one thing I did was I had very defined set goals. Number one, I knew what I wanted to do, right? I had my business plan. I knew how much I wanted to make as an individual. I knew how much I wanted my team to contribute to that. I knew what my marketing plan was, all my pillars of business, what I was going to do to get the business, and I had operations, who does what. And guys, it was very clear. Now when you have that, right, the expectation's set. It's set, you have it down, your team is bought in, they understand, they see that you've bought in. Now the real magic happens when you step up and actually pay to play. And what I mean by that is you're actually doing what you say you're doing, right? When you're out working, when they see you working, and I outworked everyone on my team. That's how I was, I outworked them, and which made them even wanna work harder and try harder and win, right? I had a winning mindset going into it because I said, guys, here are these goals. They're crazy, they're huge. I wanna double the number one realtor in our office, I wanna double their business. That's a very big goal and they had to buy into it in order for us to achieve it. And guess what, every little victory, we'd win and we'd celebrate. So if we had a great two weeks, guys, we're gonna have a happy hour on me. I wanna have fun, I wanna have a drink, have some appetizers, and we celebrated it. And they gotta go, guys, this is just week two. We've got 52 more weeks to go or 51 more weeks to go, I wanna hustle. And so guess what, we'd hustle for two more weeks and we'd celebrate. We'd hustle for two more weeks and we'd celebrate. Now, that's what we did internally. But I will tell you, I can come up with, give you a million ideas, it starts with you. If you're out relaxing, your team's not gonna be motivated. If they don't see you hustling, they're not gonna hustle. You have to lead by example and it starts with your goals, right? Why are you doing the things you're doing? You need to buy into your goals, you need to then incorporate or integrate your team into your goals and your vision, and then you need to actually execute. The moment you start drifting and your team sees that from your actual goals, I'm telling you, they're gonna start to drift. I created a winning mindset is we have to win. This is what, we're, we're here for winning. I picked you because you're a winning buyer's agent. I picked you because you're a winning assistant. I picked you because you're a winning seller's uh, coordinator. I picked you guys because guess what? I am a winner and I wanna surround myself with winners. And so they knew we're winning. Everything we do, we're winning. We're winning listing presentations. We're lit winning buyers, you know? We're putting them in contracts. We're celebrating the wins. We're doing all of this and the energy is high and that is how we created that, that culture, that atmosphere, that winning mentality with my team.